So let's continue with the verses now again. We have seen the rules of engagement just to understand how Arjuna can be taken to the middle of the battlefield without being attacked. So Sanjaya continues telling the story, telling the, the events unfold in the Kurukshetra war uh, to Dhridrashtra. So he says, as asked by Arjuna, Krishna has now taken him in between the two armies. And Krishna says to Arjuna, look, look at Bhishma, look at Dronacharya, look at all the kings, they are all on Kaurava's side. Arjuna can see both sides pretty well from where Krishna takes him. He sees fathers, grandfathers, uncles, gurus, grandsons, sons, brothers-in-law, fathers-in-law, women fighting for them. Arjuna, looking at all these people gathered to kill each other, he is overwhelmed by sorrow and empathy. So he says, Krishna, looking at all these people. My limbs are weakening. My mouth is dry. My whole body is trembling. My bowl is slipping from my hand. My hair stands on an end. It's like my whole body is on fire. I'm unable to stand. I'm totally confused. Oh, Keshava, I see a lot of bad omens. Nothing good can come out of killing your own relatives and gurus and friends. Arjuna is not trembling or hesitant because he's scared. He's just overwhelmed by emotions. He just doesn't want to want not only he himself doesn't want to kill everyone he knows, he doesn't want others doing to their relatives either. So he is hesitant, he is asking Krishna and he continues, we'll see more. 